I've had various training areas in my houses since I was like 12 years old. First it was just like literally rocks glued to a cement wall. And then eventually I built like my first spray wall, like 45 degree spray wall. But then I moved into this house a couple years ago now and we decided to build like the dream training space. And so of course we had to get the best board, the kilter board. My peers and sort of like climbing mentors and idols from all over the world use the kilter board. Something about the way that the holds are set up and the way they're shaped, it makes for really fun and dynamic, good strength building climbing. The fact that the holds light up all the way around, you can just like swipe right, jump on the wall, and the holds are there and obvious right in front of you, which makes the workouts really efficient. Originally, I was just gonna get the kilter holds and build my own my own wall, but then I kind of started thinking I needed the padding because I had to be really careful about how I fell because I had an Achilles tendon injury and for I don't know, four months I was climbing with just one foot. Everybody at Kilter was like, you should just get the, our new board. Like I actually have the first prototype version of this lemur board. My standard setup is I do maybe like a 15 minute warm up at usually 40 degrees. I start with it at 40 degrees and I start at V0 and I just do one problem of each grade all the way up to like V8 or V9 and that's my warm up. And then I go do a, like a 20 minute hangboard workout, usually to get my fingers like really warm and strength stronger. And then there's various other exercises I do, but right now I'm building max power. So I just come back and I do usually a two hour session of just sessioning on really hard problems, like finding ones that suit me, trying to do as hard of problems as I can. This is called legendary, like cheese, yeah. Okay. This is my project. This is our project at 50, but Owen just hiked it at 40. So yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> oh god! Oh, yeah, let's, no. let's move this up. You like swapped that over like that? Yeah, I did. That felt a lot more. When do you do that? After you get your foot up? Or I guess before maybe, huh? Yeah, before. I kind of always start flying with my bike. But... There you go. Come on. Oh. I'm 44 now and I feel like I'm ready to like break through in my bouldering skill and then do some harder boulder problems around Estes around home. The thing that was really surprising is that my whole family could climb on it and my friends could climb on it, my kids could climb on it. Like it worked really well for me who was climbing, you know, like harder problems. But it also worked great for like V zeros and when I would bring my friends and, and family and neighbors climbing on my they would always just get frustrated. So I've either owned or trained on basically all the various boards out there and hands down I would recommend the kilter above all else.